Hi, do I have hey, Ty Valor. Pennington? Hey, Valor, how Hi. you doing? Hey there. Hi, Ty Pennington and Emeril Lagasse. Welcome to Dallas, Texas. Thank you. We're delighted Thank to be there. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us by yeah. radio. No, that's no problem. Thank you so much, guys. Now, I want to let everybody know, I want to let my audience know, I'm talking to Emerald Lagasse, and we all know him for his famous saying, a bam, but he's got 18 cookbooks. He's a popular TV chef. He owns 13 restaurants, restaurants around the country. And you know, Ty Pennington, I think, is the cutest guy on the planet. Oh, and look I get at that. to talk nice. to him today. <laughs> well, he guys, is a pretty handsome you- guy. He, he is. He really is. We think so in Texas anyway. What are you guys up to as a duo? Well, we have this brand new show together uh, called On the Menu. Uh, and uh, it, it really begins with four home cooks uh, competing to get their dish on the menu. Uh, and Ty does a great job as the host. And I kind of am trying to mentor these young cooks as, as we progress through the show. Uh, and as Ty says, he announces the winner that night, Friday right. night, and on Saturday, you can go across America and, and taste the dish. Yeah, and I think that's what's really, really stands out about this show is that there's been tons of cooking shows in the past that, you know, you see the preparation, you see the dish, but you've never been able to smell it or taste it. And this is what's phenomenal about this is you're not only giving people a chance. Uh, these are home cooks. These are people who right. just like they're not top five star chefs. These are home cooks who... The dream. Uh, who the dream is to really sort of make a name for themselves uh, as a cook. And they've got a chance to literally put their dish uh, on, on the table for millions of Americans across the country. And we can all go taste it after we've seen the preparation that goes into it. And uh, it's fun. It's exciting. It's um, it, there's, there's passion. There's drama because you just... The, the, you never know. You never know. And it, it's a lot of fun. And you learn a lot just because, well... Emerald happens to know a few things. <laughs> okay, what do you mean we can go and taste it? Now, I see you guys on TV. I see you judging these home cooks, mm-hmm. which I think are the best cooks, because that's what a lot of restaurants try to imitate. But we can taste it. What does that mean, Emerald? Well, that means uh, basically you come along for the ride with us during the, uh, during the program, and then Ty announces the winner and announces the winning dish that's going to go on that menu. Uh, and let's just say that uh, the, the restaurant happens to be Outback Steakhouse. You can go to any Outback Steakhouse across America starting on Saturday and get that dish and taste it. Absolutely true. And, and I think that's what's pretty phenomenal because, you know, I've, I've been across the country, uh, as you guys know, doing the projects that I do. And, you know, you stay in these hotels that are near a lot of these chains. And, and it's really where the community, where middle America really eats. And I think what's so fantastic is, is there's now something new and exciting that's actually going to be on those menus, but there's such a great story behind it as well. Right. And so for the viewer to watch a cooking show, you, you see the passion, you see the drama that goes, uh, goes through it, but then for the curiosity to go the next day and be able to taste it yourself, the amount of like effort that goes into that to make that possible is pretty unique, and it's just uh, it's never been done before. And then they're fulfilling this dream, Valder, that yeah. uh, you know it could be for their mother or their grandmother or their aunt, and, and that's why they're there or their children. But also there's $25,000 uh, right. beside getting your dish ah. on the menu. Yeah. Yes. Is that so, what the winner gets? Yes. Well, that and the Our, notoriety. Right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm thinking of that you're really making the next star by this, you know, having this. I mean, they're fast tracking uh, uh, doing this. And I'm sure there's some budding uh, restaurant tours in there. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. I'm sure this is the beginning of uh, of another layer. Another layer, yeah. Of these cooks and 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 one thing's for sure is you'll certainly gain some confidence out of this competition because yeah. you're you're dealing with pressure, you're dealing with time, you're dealing with a room full of hungry uh, diners who are going to give you their honest opinion of exactly. the dish, uh, and then you're dealing with the, the business aspect of you know the the corporate um, and the there's restaurant. A, there's tours. a progression of elimination, Valdo, but it's yeah. not just Thai and I. Uh, I mean, we, we taste the dishes along the way, and we're giving advice and mentoring them, et cetera, et cetera. But as Ty said, there's a, there's a, 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 there's a dining room full of, right. of customers that are also taking a look at this, that know what that restaurant is all about, and they're going, hmm, is this really going to fit? Right. Or, and the, the, just an honest opinion of what they, wh- what they like and what they don't like. And um, as, as any artist, you know, taking that kind of criticism can be a little harsh. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure you guys are going to be so wonderfully nice. Let me ask you this. Uh, can any of them have ever been a professional or anything like that? Say, you know, they were like a sous chef at one time, but now they're a stay-at-home mom. Does that Do they qualify for that? I, I don't think so. I think... I think most of the cooks that w- that have been on the show oh, are cooks. are just home cooks. Right. They, you know. Okay. And of all ages, of all walks of life, of yeah. all regions of the country, which also makes it really exciting because you may have somebody from down south, and they're trying to do their interpretation of maybe say shrimp and grits, right. and then you might have somebody from the northeast who's you know trying to do their version of a, of a fish stew. Uh, it, it's right. really exciting. It is exciting, $25,000. That's really exciting, guys. Okay, so how the, are the people who are listening? This, and this is what I like to do is give people an opportunity. I don't want them to just vicariously be involved in my show. So how do they, maybe they think they're a good home cook and like, hey, I want to be on the next season? I think you can go on the TNT uh, website sure. and, uh, and check it out. On the menu. On the All menu. right. Okay, so when they win at twenty five thousand, they don't have to split it with you guys, right? No, they just have to take <laughs> Ty and I out to a nice dinner. Yeah, that they cook. I, I'm sure they're excited about that. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much, and I want to ask you, Emerald, what have you been up to? I haven't seen you in a while. What you been up to besides? Well, I've been I've been just busy in my restaurants and uh, and busy on uh, working the show with Ty on the menu. We're really really excited. Both of us can't tell you and express ourselves enough of what an exciting show this is going to be. Yeah, it's really cool. Well, you guys are a part of it, and I know it's exciting. And you, Ty, what have you been up to? I've been up to juggling. You know, as you know, I love to juggle about 18 different things. So uh, (laughs) I've been working. It's been a lot of fun working with this guy. Uh, You know, it's funny. We... uh, we didn't realize we'd end up being sort of like Bert and Ernie, but we've got a, we've, it's, it's funny. We work really well together and have a lot of fun, and we've both got a little passion uh, for food. Um, but uh, I've been building homes, been working on several other projects, just like this guy has been. I keep but, him well fed, though. Yes, yes. I've actually gained a lot of weight right in my throat <laughs> area, right here. Like a grouper throat got lodged in there. But uh, it's been great. You guys are two great guys. You've always done great things, so thanks for joining us here and letting us know about what you're doing and tell me when you want us to watch. We know you want us to watch on TNT. Tell us when. Well, it uh, premieres Friday, this Friday, October 3rd, 8 o'clock Eastern and Pacific time. That's right. Every Friday. And you can actually get the dish on Saturday. Mm. I want to thank you so much, Ty Pennington and the great Emil Lagasse for giving us the inside scoop. Thank you very much. Thanks, Valder. Thank you. Bye-bye.